What's up guys, it's Tyron here and today I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about more ideas I have for my 2-in-1 hunting and fishing game combo. In this video I'm going to be talking about the equipment, the firearms, and all that that I would have at launch. In the last video I did, I talked about what maps and what species I would have on them. If you have not seen that video, go check it out. I'll leave it in the description and in a pinned comment below. Now, do keep in mind, this is just all ideas I have. It's not surefire guaranteed that this game would come out, so do take this with a grain of salt. But anyways, guys, we're going to get right into it. So to start things off, we're going to talk about the weapons I have planned. Before that, I actually want to go over the calibers that I have selected, and I picked weapons that use these calibers in the real world. For the rifle calibers, I have 22 light rifle, 5.56 NATO, 243 Winchester, 3030 Winchester, 270 Winchester, 308 Winchester, 30 at 6 Springfield, 7 Remington Magnum, 300 Win Magnum, 50 Caliber Inline, 338 Magnum, 375 HH Magnum, 4570, 416 Rigby, and 700 Nitro Express. Shotgun gauges, I just have 12 gauge and 20 gauge. Handgun calibers are 22 LR, 44 Magnum, 454 Kozel, 475 Magnum, and 500 Smith & Weston Magnum. So the reason I decided to choose 556 NATO instead of 223 is because they are very similar calibers, but I chose a certain rifle that uses 556 NATO. I think it can also use 223. I could change that, but this is just what I've got for now. So. I looked up some weapons that use these calibers and I decided to use unique weapons that use them. Now some of these weapons do use more than one caliber. They can be switched out for higher calibers or lower calibers. But I decided to just go with unique weapons for these calibers. But I chose to have each weapon have a unique caliber. But that could change and it could be kind of like ultimate hunting where you can switch out your calibers and all that. So let's get on with the weapons I chose. For the 22, I chose the Ruger 10 22 Sporter. For the 556 NATO, I choose the Ruger Mini 14. For the 243, we have the Ruger American Compact, the Henry Side Gate for the 3030 Winchester, the Mossberg Patriot 270 Winchester, because I believe this was the Mossberg 270 I used, the Tika T3X Light for the 308 Winchester, Springfield M1A also in 308 Winchester. Remington Model 700 chambered in 30-06 Springfield. This is the 30-06 rifle I use right now, and that's why I've chosen this one. The Winchester XPR for the 7mm. The Weatherby Model 307 for the 300 Magnum. The CVA Wolf V2 muzzleloader for the 50 cal inline. The Savage Arms 110 Bear Hunter for the 338. The Bergara Premier Canyon for the 375 HH Magnum. The Marlin 1895 Trapper for the 4570 Government. The Raymer Johansson Safari for the 416 Rigby. And then you have that Elephant Gun Chamber in 700 Nitro Express. For the shotguns, I have three 12 gauges and a 20 gauge. So you have the Stoger Condor over under 12 gauge, and this is a shotgun that I have. I've had it for a long time, and it's just very memorable to me. Next up, you have the Remington 870 Pump Action. I mean, you gotta. Ha I feel like you have to have this, to be honest. Then you have the Mossberg Ultimag 835, and this is a, the shotgun that I used for waterfowl and turkey hunting. That's why I've chosen it. And then for the 20 gauge, it's the CZ Bob White, and this is a side-by-side -side 20 gauge shotgun that I have planned. Now for the handguns, you have the Heritage Rough Rider, which is a 22 caliber revolver. Once again, this is a weapon that I have, so that's why I've thrown it in here. Next up, you have the Ruger New Model Super Blackhawk, which is a 44 caliber revolver. In addition to that, I also decided to throw in a special handgun, that being the Desert Eagle 44, which is a 44 Magnum pistol. I thought it'd be cool to have some variety in there. And then you have the Taurus Raging Hunter for the 454 Kozel, the 475 Wilde Magnum, and then obviously you have the model Smith & Weston 500, which is chambered in the 500 Magnum. And then of course you have the Vortex Compound Bow and the 10 Point Compound Crossbow. So that right there is all the weapons I would have in all their calibers. So now we get to move on to the equipment. So of course we do have to go over the fishing gear because this is a 2 in 1 hunting and fishing game. So the fishing gear includes your variety of fishing rods which is like cast rods, 
light rods, etc. And then you also have bobbers because why not? And as it goes for the bait, it includes worms, crickets, breadcrumbs, power bait, and minnows. And then for your lures, you have spinnerheads, mouse lures, frog lures, rubber worms, and other soft plastics, crankbaits, spoons, plugs, jigs, flies, topwater, and swim baits. Additionally, I've chosen two vehicles, so that way you're not always walking around your two feet. This includes a 4x4 ATV and a mountain bike. I mean, why not have a mountain bike? More people would probably use the ATV, but, you know, just felt like it'd be a nice addition. And I'd have a pair of hunting dogs included, that being the Labrador Retriever. I mean, we already know what that does, it just retrieves small game. And then the Beagle to help smell out any blood trails from a wounded animal you might have shot. Of course, I would have a variety of optics, including a handgun, red dot sight, and then a handgun scope. And then I would have like a re reflex scope style sight. And then a variety of rifle scopes. And these are the kinds that I've chosen right here. There's a nice variety in there. And this is perfect for like your own hunting style and how you hunt and whatnot. Whether you want to be long range, mid range, you name it. As for the collars, we have the deer bleak collar. Deer Grunt Collar, Snort Wheeze Call, Antler Rattler, Rattlebag, Duck Call, both short and long range goose calls, three turkey calls including Box Call, Mouth Call, and Pot Call, Predator Callers, Sandbar Mouth Call, Hog Collar, Elk Call, Moose Call, and the Electronic Collar. Then we get into hunting structures which are like the hunting stands, ground blinds, tree stands, and then layout blinds. These layout blinds are like for waterfowl hunting. I could have like some sort of like bunker style blinds. I think that would be pretty fun. And then the rest of the equipment includes binoculars, bird decoys for turkeys and waterfowl, scent eliminator, trail cameras, first aid kits, and then weapon bipods or tripods. And that pretty much rounds up the equipment, weapons, and all that that I would have. If I decide to make a third video, it's going to be talking about like future content like maps, weapons, and species and all that. Before I wrap up this video, I wanted to say I apologize for the lack of content. I've just been focusing on IRL stuff and other kinds of things going on. I just forgot to let you all know. But anyways, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. And let me know your ideas for this game. I would love to hear your thoughts. Remember, this is just ideas I have. It's not a surefire guarantee that this would come out. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.